okay, so this is Pace. Uh, this is pretty much the only video I'm going to do because I feel like my curl pattern is looser. It's loosened up and I'm going to stop. Okay, so my hair is wet. I'm about to comb it. And I'm just showing you the curl pattern because it's the only way you can see it while it's wet. Okay, it's wet. Da, 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 da. What it is, is this is a study on how loose the soybean oil has gotten my hair. Now what I do, I consume soybean oil. So I cook with the soybean oil and I eat it, okay? It's about like an internal soybean oil thing. It's not like I'm just putting soybean oil. I actually don't put soybean oil on my hair. If I did put soybean oil on my hair, it would make it loosen faster. Now this is a result only from internal soybean oil intake, okay? It's just me eating a lot of soybean oil. What I do, I like to eat with fish, and I do think the fish itself has a lax property to it because fish has a lot of omega threes. It has a lot of oils in it naturally. Fish is a very oily meat, and I do think it activates the soybean oil in a way that makes it more viable and like a lot more potent, and it loosens the hair a lot more because of the the benefits of the oils from the fish. So I like to eat fish cooked in soybean oil okay so that's what I do and it does loosen my hair and I've been doing it for like four months now and this is what I have because I'm not trying to loosen it if I applied soybean oil to my hair in addition to eating it it would be like boom a big difference okay and I know how to do that but I don't want to do that okay so you can see I'm going to link a video down below where I show you my normal curl pattern that is not altered and this is my curl pattern that is altered and I'm going to stop now because I said I don't want to loosen my hair because it would contradict my webby core situation and I really want to rely on manual manipulation and not uh, curl pattern manipulation because as loose as I can get my curl pattern it's still going to tangle and it's still going to break off because I'm not straightening it okay it's not like I'm loosening it to a 3A you know or a 2B it's you know, there's no point. I'm still going to get breakage in my wash and goes. So I really don't want to do that. Okay, so just look at it. You can see how much bigger, if you go back to the video that I will make sure I link down below, how much bigger my curls are. Like right here, you can see it is a lot bigger. I mean, just comparisons. It's drying out now, but just like it's bigger and like just look at my face here and look at my face in that video down below and you can see that it really is a larger curl part not extremely but it's larger interstitially it is looser okay interstitially and that is what aids in the detangling remember that this is all about an easier detangle and i just told you what to do you eating it you're eating the soybean oil and it will decrease your detangle time and that's my point. I don't want to loosen it. I want to aid my detangling and have a faster wash day on detangle. And I've achieved that. It's a lot faster. It went from two hours to an hour. So I'm very happy at this point and I don't have any complaints, okay? And I want to stop because it's not about loosening my curls. It's about helping me detangle it easily, which it's done that. And if you have issues detangling your hair, I would definitely suggest you intake a lot of soybean oil to loosen it up a little bit to help with that okay and that was my purpose if i wanted to go for the looks i would keep going and apply it topically as well but i don't want to do that okay and um yeah i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video